Lalo Jaralu. I am the founder of the Unschool of Disruptive Design and I'm here in Christchurch, New Zealand getting ready for our one week Emerging Leaders Fellowship program that we run all over the world. You basically get told where to show up and what time we will be finishing and the rest of it is all filled in through random adventures. So when we arrived, it was quite intimidating to be honest because we had absolutely no idea of what we were going to do, where we were going to be. We were just told to meet on a street somewhere. Well, welcome everyone to Christchurch. Kia ora. Um, it's awesome to finally have you all here. We met in front of Christchurch City Council's Po Te Heranga Wo Te Waka and the Po itself resembles the unity of everyone together. Gina, nice to meet you. We kicked off the day with a bit of a walk tour and we did a stop with the Ant Eater who um, is basically capturing amazing native locusts and it actually tasted really nice. And then we do this three minute kind of like, who are you, what have you done, what are you interested in and what do you want to get out of this week or what do you want to get out of life basically. Hi, I'm Nita, I'm, I'm a farm kid. So we get to know each other on the first day. Then the next four days are all like this like hyper like speed learning experience and there's like different mentors and we're teaching the disruptive design method and we're going out in the world and we're going to studios and we're meeting people and we're hearing all of these different ideas and experiences and we're like seeing and smelling and tasting and it's very sensory and then on the last two days you're locked in a room for 24 hours with four other people and you have to solve a really complex real world problem and at the end of 24 hours you have to pitch that back to those real world clients hoping that you've given them some sort of disruptive, divergent insight that's going to help really shift the status quo of that. Looking for the action, causing a reaction, I just want to style like So on day two, we started by doing some systems mapping. We mapped the educational system. Super quick recap, systems thinking is an approach to understanding how the complex, interconnected, chaotic and life-giving support systems exist in the world around us. Then we had a really wonderful speaker come in, Nick and tell us about his life story and about how timing and just believing in what you're working on can really lead to a lot of really positive outcomes. And then we ended with a really wonderful program coming in and trying out their design prototype on us, defining what are the four walls that make up your value system. And then they did a haka for us, which was really awesome. <laughs> So day three and uh, we started it with um, hot pancakes. <laughs> the day was a lot of play, coinciding with a lot of information. We had a discussion with Raf. You know, when Trump is talking about trade, yeah, I mean, trade does make a big difference. Globalization has had a huge impact um, on certain classes in develop, developed countries. But primarily it's technology that is killing jobs and will continue to kill them uh, at an exponential rate. After that, um, we had a session on fashion. We learned that fashion is the second most polluting industry after oil. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be tackled in that segment. So um, one of the startling statistics is that one third of all garments that are manufactured and go into shops get incinerated or go to landfill. Yeah. So when you're walking around the city and you're looking into those shops, one third of them will never be worn by a person. So day five at the Unschool, we had our fourth mentor, Rebecca Mills, um, and we had a really interesting talk from her with some really practical, real-world examples of how you can use systems thinking in your work. If you are looking for a project and you're looking for environmental issues to be able to hone in on, I think climate change, water and biodiversity would be the top three and how they relate to the nitrogen cycle. In the afternoon, we had a really useful lesson on life cycle assessment from Layla. Life cycle assessment gives us all of these fascinating anecdotes about how the world works that we didn't know. The thing that's complicated about LCA is there's uh, up to 90 impact categories. So we have four impact categories that we often refer to, which is climate change, biodiversity loss, water impacts. These are the kind of like the big obvious parts of the system. But we need to know a lot of those impacts come from a series of other environmental 
flow on effects, which you guys learnt yesterday when you went to speak to the river people. So at the end of day five, we were given a brief for the 24 hour design challenge. And we're going to be getting to pick a room with our teams where we get to work for the day and we're going to work with the City Council to ask them a lot of questions and be able to start the research process. Um, so we've got to create a circular economy vision for the community of Spraydom that can be achieved by 2050 with clear and tangible immediate and longer term actions that will assist with the transition to a working circular economy. So currently Christchurch we say is at a minus five planet status and what we'd like to do is take this one suburb as a light stand, as an example, and uh, see if we can turn it around to a one planet uh, suburb and then through that replicate it out across Christchurch. Just so exciting and so in 24 hours I hope that our fellows will be able to do that. It's a small task. Yeah, there's going to be no sleep. Yeah, it's going to get crazy basically. <laughs> I'm slightly sleep deprived. Good, uh, how are you? Um, yeah, I'm excited about the presentations of the design challenge. I always am a little nervous, but we're about to do the practice pitches where the groups all get to kind of run through their ideas and we can tweak their presentation and communication style to really get the core pieces of their ideas across um, and excite the judges and the client to potentially take some of their ideas on. So I always, uh, always look forward to being a little bit tough and then being hopefully very surprised. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, well this is very exciting. We are at the end of a very long, fruitful week and I'd like to welcome our judges. Shall we start? Yeah. Alrighty, let's do it. 